Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to do the moss stitch. This is a very um, beautiful stitch pattern as you can see. It's very simple. Um, it's a great pattern for scarves, for shawls, for bed throws, for baby blankets, you name it you can make it. So it's uh, to start this project or to start making anything in in the moss stitch you measure your work whether it's a blanket a scarf um whatever item you want to make um in this stitch this is also good for coasters and <laughs> place wax as well um but i do love this stitch and um yeah so measure your work and it's in multiples of two so do your chain for example, if you're doing a baby blanket and you've got a hundred chains, um, you know, just measure it. If it's you know 30 inches, 28 inches, what what length it is? Sorry, width it is, so you can then just uh, work up. Um, you can use any yarn and any hook for this pattern, but do use the recommended hook for the yarn. This is a slightly chunkier yarn, and I've used a five millimeter today. My five millimeter is also quite worn out but yeah so not three and a half today so just for the tutorial I'm going to show you with a three and a half so let's begin um, I'm using a uh, chunky yarn uh, by uh, Starcraft and I'm just going to do you a short sam sample um, coming back to this very quickly you can change colors at the end of every round and leave your uh, yarns on the end to weave in after it looks very pretty with different colors as well but if you've got odd spare bits of yarn that you just want to you know use up it will look really really great but for this tutorial purposes i'm going to stick with the same color but i will show you um if you were to join um it's changed color sorry what you would need to do but we will carry on with one color um for today um we'll just get Oops, sorry for the noise. Extra yarn for the third colour. So, do a slip knot. And I'm going to just chain up 16 just to show you how to do this stitch. and yours of course will be a multiple of two any length of chain that you need what you need to do then it's it's all single crochet it's very very simple single crochet and chain once so to start off the bottom chain the foundation chain you do a single crochet into the fourth chain so one two three and four there we go then chain one then miss a stitch and single crochet chain one miss a stitch and single crochet chain one miss a stitch and single crochet and do that to the end okay so I won't go right to the end because I'll show you if you wanted to change your colour what to do. If you were to change your colour, all you need to do is do skip one. Your last chain will always be a single crochet. So pull up your two loops and then grab your other yarn. You know, about that much length. Sort of about the, the length of your hand really. Enough for you to weave in. You don't want it too short. So just grab the extra, pull it through the both of those. Okay. And then you chain two. Then you would turn your work and go straight into there. Chain one, go in between the single crochets where you did the chain one. And that's how it would be if you were to change colors. For this tutorial, I'll show you how you would just carry on 
and how it would look in one piece, one colour, sorry. So there's your last single crochet, chain two, flip your work, there's your first single crochet, go into the space where you did the chain one and do a single crochet there. Chain one, single crochet in the chain one space. Chain one, single crochet there. And work that towards the end. And it really is as simple as that. Such a pretty, delicate pattern. Your last one will be the 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 four. Uh, I don't know if you can see it right there. Single crochet, chain two, flip your work. Oops. Let's put my yarn then. Okay, so there's your single crochet. We go in the space between, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet. Chain two, flip your work. Single crochet into the chain one space. What I do love about this pattern also is the neatness of it. It's just so neat and tidy and the ends are always so straight. You know, you can put a lovely border around the end or you can just do a single crochet border. It's entirely up to you. But it's such a neat... Now, like I said in the beginning, you use the recommended hook with the yarn. So if I was using a DK yarn, I can use a four, uh, I can possibly use a five as well. Um, if you're making a baby blanket and you don't want to make it out of chunky knit, for DK yarn, it does say four. But if you're like me and you would like your blankets to be a bit more drapey or slightly more, you know, uh, looser, I would go a hook up. If I were to make a baby blanket, say for myself or for somebody, I would use a DK yarn and I would probably go for the five rather than the four. But if you're using this to make um, anything other than a blanket, then just use the hook that you need for that yarn. Chain two, I'll do one more row. Single crochet, chain one. Single crochet, chain one. go and there we have beautiful moss stitch and the good thing like I said about this is it's like it's it's the same on the other side as well so there's no because we're both working both ways absolutely pretty so this is how you do the moss stitch for your project um I hope this was pretty straightforward it's quite a simple thing to do and um yeah, uh, please do make something, even if it's small, and see how you get on. Thank you for subscribing and liking my channel. Thank you to all your support. And I'll uh, see you on the next one.